Hello teachers, welcome to this Bite Size PD where the topic is Skyward for Elementary, setting up expected levels of performance to track student proficiency. Throughout this training, you're gonna hear me refer to the expected levels of performance as ELP or ELP sets. That's the acronym for it and a little bit easier to say than continuously saying expected levels of performance. So just know the ELP, that's what it stands for. So why use ELP in your Skyward Gradebook? First, it allows you to visually see student progress and performance in the Skyward Gradebook. And the image you can see on the right-hand side, it color codes the scores, the three twos and ones that you enter with green, yellow, red. So just a quick way for you to compile all the data from things like Savis, Wonders, and other formative data that you're collecting. You can quickly view patterns of mastery, and then it can help you and, and report support you when you're doing report cards and your SGPs um, throughout the year. So it's not something you have to use. Once again, it's just a way for you to create this visual representation in your gradebook. So when it comes time to do report cards, because you'll see in the picture on the screen, I have the overall standard with different assignments for that standard. It's just a quick way to look across and quickly do that final grade that appears on the report card, those three twos ones. So how do you enable and how do you use? Both videos on this slideshow um, go straight to the section of how to enable the EL set, ELP set in your gradebook and then how to add an assignment and ensure that color coding happens. Um, I'm gonna get out of this presentation because I've learned if I try to present them from here, it's a little blurry. So something to know about enabling the ELP sets in your gradebook, it does have to be done in each of your gradebooks, meaning you can't go to language and then it automatically is enabled in math or science, or you can't go into science and assume that's going to then be enabled in the others. So you do have to do this in each grade book. But something you'll see is an actually very easy and quick process. So if I play this, you go to display options and select ELP sets. That will open up a window or a pop-up window will come up and it'll appear blank unless you've already added one in the past, but you click on add. And this is where you'll see, you give it a description. It's a name that you'll remember what it is. So ELP, ELP set. Um, you'll then see where it talks about the different levels. There's a three, two, and one. And then you do have to adjust where it says low mark. It's defaulting to 3M. It's just as easy as changing the three to a three. And when you click on this arrow, a drop down menu appears. And you'll see three. Don't worry about assigning like the 3M or the asterisk. Um, just select the three, the two, and the one that correspond. And if you watch this video in its entirety, it will go through that for you. In fact, we have one of our amazing instructional coaches who um, put this original screencast together. Um, and so you'll see it's happening right here. The last thing you'll want to check is use as a default set. If this is checked, this is where when you create an assignment, it'll automatically apply, apply the color coding without you having to do an extra step in that process. If you don't check it, then you will have to um, do that for each assignment. So when you're done, you just click save, it'll bring you back to this screen so you'll see it's been set up. Um, and then just click on the back arrow and that will take you back to your gradebook. So that is how you will enable and then when creating your assignment once again if you click on this video it'll take you to the right section of the video to view you create your assignment just like normal remember in in skyward it's called events you click you click on add event give it a description um, you'll see the elp set is there for you so one thing to note with this, so when you're adding assignments to your Skyward Gradebook, you're going to enter them as, as a three, two, or one. You can't do something like add a 10 and it, you know, it calculates what a three or a two or one would be. So you're essentially just going in and marking each assignment how you see as a three, two, or one. Um, you do have the option like other assignments you add to Skyward to apply this assignment to multiple standards. So that is an option and then just make sure you hit save and back or save and add another. Um, and if I'm gonna fast forward on this video, you can go through and just start typing in your scores. This is, 
a demonstration, you hit save, and then you can see where it's color coding that. So just imagine the possibility or how helpful it could be for you if you add multiple assignments to this standard to be able to identify where your students are in terms of their proficiency. And something else you can do, there is a way for you to pull up a chart for individual students. So if you like the gradebook view and you can just look from one side to the other, this video will actually show you how you can pull up, and I actually have it fast um, to the part here. There. I'm actually gonna make sure it gets to the right place. Um, it's under reports is where you will so, oh, sorry, under charts, and then you'll select expected levels of performance. And when you first get that, um, don't let the, the view that you're going to see freak you out because you're going to see it for everyone and all of the standards and assignments that you have entered. So at first, the chart you're gonna see looks something like this, but this is where you can actually drill down to specific students. So you can actually down here under chart options, you can adjust for certain students, you can adjust for certain subjects, different skills. So it's a way for you to utilize, I'm gonna fast forward. It's a way for you to utilize this chart. If this is something that would help you when doing your report cards, be able to pull this up for each student or standard and then quickly do your report cards this way. So you can watch this video in its entirety. If you watch this specific one, it goes beyond just pulling up the ELP chart. It also can give you some tips on filling out report card comments, um, things to help you when it comes to that time. So coming back to our slideshow, um, oops, let me pause this. For additional resources as you're utilizing your Skyward Gradebook, if you need more support beyond just what the ELP sets are, we have these links here that go to like um, your preferences and settings in Skyward. If you wanna know more about the student indicators in Skyward, if you need more support in adding an event in your gradebook, this has a video, for, there's a video for you. And then the one I just showed you, the elementary report cards. And that concludes this Bite Size PD. Um, if you're watching this and you want relicensure credit, make sure to go to this URL. There's a Google form for you to complete. We reward, we award the relicensure credit once a month. Um, and once again, each one is a 0.5 credit. And with the Skyward for um, elementary, if you ever need support, your instructional coaches are a great support at the school level. You're always welcome to reach out to me. My name is Camille Cole and my email is camille.cole at canyonsdistrict.org.